Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Huesca and FC Barcelona. So in this game, Barcelona is going to be visiting Huesca at their home. This is also going to be considered as the first match Barcelona is going to be playing in 2021. And looking at this whole week in general, starting with the match between Huesca and Barcelona, Barcelona have a very hectic week. We do have a game that's going to be played on Sunday. We also we are also going to be having a game that's going to be played on Wednesday and then we're going to finish off the week with a match which is going to be on Saturday. So it's going to be a very busy, hectic week for FC Barcelona. But before we do get into this match between Huesca and FC Barcelona, I do firstly want to speak about Lionel Messi because right now we are in January. This is the month where the transfer window is going to be open and Messi is in a position where he is free to negotiate with any club he does want. He can make a decision if he does want to. And there are going to be reports stating one thing while the other report is stating another. And I believe that my job right now is going to be this. I do want to separate the fact and fiction in every story that does come out for the next 30 days. Because there is going to be a lot of fake stories regarding Messi and there is going to be stories that are going to be real regarding Messi. And I, and I do want to separate those things because I don't want you guys to get very confused on what's currently going on in Messi's life and his decisions with FC Barcelona. And so the first story that I do want to talk about is going to be coming out from Diario Sport. And this is a story that did come out a few hours ago. And this is what they said. The director of Diario Sport, who's named Mr. Mascaro, he has stated that Lionel Messi does not want to leave Barcelona, but will not let his decision known to everyone until the Barcelona presidential elections are done or maybe by the end of June. Lionel Messi wants to retire at the Camp Nou. And so yes, it would be very great to hear that Messi wants to retire at the Camp Nou. But this report is completely false. Whoever is reporting this or putting out a statement such as this, it is not reliable, it is not real. And as of now, Messi has clearly stated within the interview that he is fully focused on the league. That is the only thing he does want to do within the next six months. And so any story that does come out stating that Messi has finally came into a conclusion that he wants to stay with FC Barcelona, that is not real at all. And we also do have a report coming from a very reliable source and reliable reporter named Alfredo Martinez. He has stated that Messi has not yet made the decision on whether he will be staying at Barcelona next season or not. It is true that he has an apartment in Miami and he has been having that apartment for a very long time, but it is only considered as a investment at the moment. And that is going to completely rule off the rumor of Messi wanting to stay at Barcelona. And this is also going to be ruling off the rumor of Messi potentially moving to enter the Miami. As of now, Messi is only focused to bring good results towards Barcelona. We also do have Ronald Koeman speak to the press a couple of hours ago. He did speak about Lionel Messi and what his decision could be. And this is what he said. And I quote, Leo has said that he will not decide his future as of now. And we have to respect it. We should not worry. And so so there you have it my friends that is where we currently do stand with Lionel Messi's future he will be staying at Barcelona until June 2021 and he will not make the final decision until we do head towards that summer and so whatever report you guys do see on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or on the internet anywhere regarding the social media feel free to send it towards me on Instagram or Twitter and then I'm going to try my absolute best to address that report as fast as possible through this YouTube channel so now going back into the Barcelona versus Huesca match and the first thing that I do want to talk about is going to be about the squad list and the player fitness updates so let's look at the squad list here we can see that everybody's here now we can see that Messi and Jordi Alba has finally returned but we do have players such as Gerard Piquet, Ansu Fati, Sergio Roberto who are not going to be attending this match because of injury and then we also have one player that's actually missing and that is Samuel Umtiti now you might wonder what could be the reason why Umtiti is not going to be featured within the squad list he he recently just came back from injury what could possibly be the reason why umtiti is not in the squad list could it be because he didn't encounter a calf injury a muscle injury a chest injury a head injury and so here's the thing it is none of that umtiti has no injury at all and has a matter of fact has encountered a gastric problem that is what he has as of now that is the reason why someone umtiti is not in the squad list if you guys do not know what a gastric 
problem is that's basically that basically means that Umtiti is way too bloated to play any match or train with the players. It has been said that the only reason why Umtiti is bloated as of now and why he has too much gas within his stomach is because of all the drinking he has been consuming in the past 24 to 36 hours. Then moving on to Felipe Coutinho, he did receive his operation a couple of hours ago and it has been said and it is official coming from Barcelona that Coutinho's operation has been successful. But the club says that he is going to be out for a total of three months. Now, let me tell you guys, this is great news. And the only reason why I'm saying that this is great news is it is because we have heard reports in the past stating that Coutinho is going to be out for four months. But now seeing that Coutinho is going to be back earlier than before, that is great to hear because we all want to see Felipe Coutinho succeed with FC Barcelona. I do believe that Coutinho is going to be coming back stronger than ever with FC Barcelona. And so my best wishes do go to him. Hopefully Coutinho does recover as fast as possible and bring his best form. Now I do want to talk about one player and I and we usually do never speak about this player because he is never featured on the squad list. But that player is going to be Moriba. He is a Barcelona B player that has been that has been training with the first team as of late. And I'm going to be very honest here. Seeing that Moriba has been participating with the first team training very frequently, I do expect Moriba to join the squad list eventually throughout this season. And it's very interesting because we have seen so many reports regarding Moriba attending the first team training. Because today we have encountered another report stating that Moriba is training with the first team players. And it says here, according to Jerry Romero, that Moriba coming from the Barcelona B team is once again training with the first team today. And the main reason why I do want to bring this up is because could we possibly see Barcelona trying to implement Moriba into the first team? And could we possibly see Ronald Koeman try and bring in a different element towards the first team because Moriba is a player that's very fast, he's tall, he is strong, and Moriba is a central midfielder that Barcelona currently do not have. And I do think that because we are seeing Moriba feature so many times within the first team training, I do believe that we are eventually going to see him within the squad list. And if Moriba does make that first team appearance within this current season, this is going to be a player many will keep an eye on for the rest of this season. And so now I do want to move on to the next section of this video and so here's the thing now that we have completed the first half of this season and now seeing that we are now going to be starting our second half of this season against Huesca it is time to evaluate I do think that Ronald Koeman right now needs to evaluate what did he do wrong in the first season that he can improve going into the second half of this season and Ronald Koeman did speak on something very very interesting to the press a couple of hours ago and this is what he said there are a lot of players who need to be more effective including the midfielders it's not just Griezmann we create a lot of chances we are the ones who create the most now this does bring up a lot of questions and one of the questions is this what does Ronald Koeman mean by the midfielders need to be more effective and as we do analyze the first half of this season under Ronald Koeman I do think that one of the biggest critiques we have to give towards the midfielders is this the midfielders do need to test the goalkeeper much more they need to be midfielders where they do take shots and they also do have to be those type of midfielders where they make decisive passes. Because within the first half of this season, Ronald Koeman's midfielders were midfielders that did not take a lot of shots. And they were also midfielders that were overthinking their passes. And that was the biggest concern coming from this team. And what's absolutely crazy about this whole thing is that Koeman has said this multiple times in the past four months. This is not the first time we have heard Ronald Koeman complain about whatever's going on within the midfield. And I do think that if Ronald Koeman is really serious about changing something within the midfield, you have to completely change the players that you do start within that section of the starting 11, which is now going to lead us towards the starting 11 we could see go up against Huesca. And so here is going to be the starting 11 we should expect to see under Ronald Koeman. We are going to go with a 4-3-3, something that Ronald Koeman has slightly test so far throughout the season. So I do want to see Mark andre Tristehen in goal. Our defensive lineup should be Jordi Alba as our left back, Lenglet and Araujo and Dest joining Jordi Alba within that defensive line. Keep in mind, I do want to keep Lenglet within that starting 11 because now that it is quite clear that Ronald Koeman is preferring Minguesa over Lenglet, I want to see how 
Linglet responds to that substitution. I want to see how Linglet reacts towards being replaced by a Barcelona B player. Then moving on to the midfield, this is where it gets very interesting because I do want to see, and I do think that many, many fans do want to see a midfield such as this, but it is going to be Frankie de Jong, Pedri, and Ricky Puj. This is the type of midfield Ronald Koeman should be starting. Like, if you really want to see results, if you really want a midfield that tests the goalkeeper, that takes a lot of shots, and that makes more decisive passes, this is the type of midfield you do need. Because if we were to really analyze these three players that we are naming within this midfield, Pedri is a player that likes to make those decisive passes. He likes to be in those positions where he knows that the pass that he is going to give is going to be 50-50. He is either going to lose the ball or complete that through ball. But that is what makes Pedri so special. And that is what's going to make Barcelona much more dangerous. As for Ricky Puj, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Ricky Puj is actually a great shot taker. Ricky Puj loves to take shots outside the box. And he is absolutely great at that. And if you're going to have Pedri and Ricky Puj bring in those two qualities that we have just mentioned, that is going to greatly improve Ronald Koeman's midfield going forward. I also do believe that if we are going to have a midfield such as these two, right next to Frankie De Jong, this is also going to surprisingly allow players such as Lionel Messi to push much, much higher up the field. Because Messi is not going to be worried about receiving the ball in the middle and trying to get that ball into the final third. Ricky Puj and Pedri and Frankie De Jong have those qualities. And I do think that if you can bring a midfield such as that, Messi will have no problem trusting those players to bring in the ball as fast as possible into the front three. And that front three is going to be Dembele on the left wing, Martin Brathwaite as our number nine, and Messi as our right winger. Keep in mind, this is also a front three that's very flexible, so we could see Dembele on the right wing, Messi in the center, and also Martin Brathwaite on the left. This is a starting 11 that will work. This is a midfield that could work. And looking at the type of opponent that we are going to be playing against, it is going to be against Huesca, who are in the bottom of this league table. And so if there is a time where Barcelona and Ronald Koeman can test a starting 11 such as this, it will be in tomorrow's night's match. It would be in this game here. So that'll be it for today's Barcelona pre-match preview. Let me know what is going to be your preferred starting 11 against Huesca, what is going to be your predicted score against this team, and what are going to be the players you do expect to stand out in your starting 11. Again, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.